Yo, what's up, my brother? G Fly here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you. Because um, if you didn't know, if you go to the zoo and you go to the gorilla habitat, and the gorillas come and they try making love to you, then you're allowed to take them home. So I'm gonna teach you how to get a gorilla. So you're gonna want to go to. Um, because there's a few steps to get gorillas to like you. I'm going to teach you all of them right now. So, gorillas have a weird taste and smell. So, when you, so right now, once you're done watching this video, I want you to do as I do. And do exactly as I tell you to, uh, to right now. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay? So, you're going to want to tell your mommy that you're sick and you have a cold. Then she's going to keep you home and go to her job as a hooker and um, while she's doing her job then you're staying home and since you said you have a cold she should give you tissue now I want you to go into the corner and just masturbate once you have that all done and you have your um, stuff I just want you to wipe that all over your face it, it might feel weird but trust me gorillas like that and now I want you to get a banana and just shove it up your anus. Because that's what gorillas like. They like bananas. And they like them in strategic places. So now that it, um, you have a banana in your anus. You can go and you want to get some peanuts. I know that's weird. You never really hear like gorillas associated with peanuts. But they love them. And you want to shove them up your nose. And you're going to want to just go into your bedroom, look for like a pencil, and shove it in your ear. And wait till it starts bleeding. And then when it starts bleeding, you know you did it right. And you want to take a little blood and you want to wipe it off with a tissue. And you want to take all that blood and smear it all over your penis. And once it's on there, then the gorilla is... It's ready for a lot of weird stuff. So now it knows that you are prepared to do everything. It means everything. So then you want to shove a gigantic coconut up your anus also. Because it likes a rough fight. It wants to wait. It wants to fight to get to the banana. And then you go to the zoo, and they're gonna probably take you into their custody for a little bit, and say, um, we really don't want you coming into our zoo, because of many reasons. But you see, it's a good thing I made this video, because if I didn't make this video, and um, you looked up all the stuff online, they probably wouldn't tell you just the next part. So, like, because I told you how to get the gorilla, but they're going to probably take you into custody and say, no, um, you look weird. But you see, what the internet doesn't tell you that I tell you, because I've done this multiple times, um, you're going to want to bring a pack of cigarettes with you. Now, I know you might not be wearing clothing, because you're not supposed to in these kinds of situations, because usually um, you can be wearing clothing and... You can have all kinds of weird stuff on you, and you, they could probably still take you into custody. I just don't wear clothing in general, but once they take you into custody, make sure you have a pack of cigarettes on you so you can bribe them. But if that doesn't work, then get naked. And when they're naked, they're going to be like, oh, and you're going to have to do a few things, if you know what I mean. You're going to have to make them some orange juice. Because they like orange juice for some reason. I don't know what the fuck they like orange juice. But once they got the orange juice, you can go along ahead. So there's a few things you want to know before you go to the gorillas. One, stay away from the lions. When they see that banana in your anus, they're going to freaking rip your butt open to get to it. Um, you want to make sure you go to the anteater. Because it... It knows some stuff it can do with that, like, big snout of it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, make sure you go to the anteater, like, oh, before you get to Gorilla, because you don't want the Gorilla to be there, and then go to the anteater, because then it's going to be like, what? And also, do not go to the, um, elephants, because they play too rough. 
So make sure you don't go to the elephants, because elephants are too rough. So I'm doing terrible. So then once you've made it to the gorillas, it's going to be hard to get it back home, because it's sure it's yours. It's practically yours now, but it's going to be trying to hump you. So that's a problem you need to face. So once you've dealt with that problem, then you then it should be more meaning stabilized, and it, it wants it'll be on your back, still humping your back, but it's it's fine, it's fine, it's just relaxing at this point, and it's not really trying to hurt you. It's just it just loves you, but like it's too tired to love you at this point. So once you have it in that state, you want to bring it back to your car. Um, I usually prefer prefer vans or pickup trucks because they have more room to store the gorilla. But um, just a normal car is fine if you want a lot of nasty just stuff on your back seat because it does too much stuff back there. You don't even want to know. But you, another thing I can usually work, but I suggest not is um is with the uh convertible because this same thing I, i'm just telling you about gorillas but this same thing works exactly the same with giraffes so only you need to add which one more thing which that means you need to put peanut butter on your penis to get giraffes and i've only done the convertible with giraffes and that doesn't go very well uh, i don't imagine it going too well with the gorilla either but giraffe is too big all right well if you enjoyed this video telling me you how to get a gorilla then just hit that subscribe button because I need subscribers and I'm all alone.